Welcome to Model Horse Tax School. My name is Carrie, and today we're going to work on this. Um, it's kind of hard to see here, but there's this silver rolled um, decorative detail. So it's silver, and in the real world, it would be rawhide. And this here case, the rawhide is dyed a dark brown, and uh, that's what we're going to do. Okay, here's my tree. Um, here's my seat piece. I have the Cheyenne roll done. Um, I'm not putting the seat on yet because that could um, mess with it. All right, mess with the seat with all the glue and everything. Um, you need some type of wire. So um, I this is an armature wire. It's it's pretty good as far as flexibility. You definitely need it soft drawn for this. That hard drawn stuff. If you can't actually move it with your hands, you don't want that. Um, I, I have also been known to use uh, pewter, like this pewter, I don't know what the gauge is. Uh, the only problem is this does uh, contain lead, so you may not want to use the pewter, but uh, pewter is also really bendy, and it's about um, the same thickness as this armature wire. Uh, it, I don't know what the gauge size is, but it's, um, it's a millimeter, how nice and uh, pliable that is. So what we need is a piece that goes around um, like that and you kind of do want it to end um, I mean you can always cut some off if it's too much uh, but you want it to end right here because then you'll tuck the extra leather under so that's about what we want right there um, I guess I could measure that, but every saddle is going to be different, and it depends upon. So it depends upon you. But in the case of the full Cheyenne roll, um, let's see. Uh, this is about three and a half inches. And if you didn't know, armature wire is for sculpting. So you'd find it in with the uh, the clay um, and the clay tools. All right. Um, this is a piece of Skyver. Yes, it should be Skyver. It needs to be thin. That's longer than uh, the piece of wire. And then you're going to need another wire. This is a 24 gauge, also very soft drawn. And um, we're going to wrap this. And you don't want it too close together. You need it far enough apart that you can get a piece of um, silver uh, lace in there. And um, you do want to get it as even as possible. So now we're going to go ahead and um, get some good glue on here. Now is a good time to get out your flat toothless pliers because we don't want to make tooth marks on this. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to pull it really, really tight. So get right on the edge and pull. Those little coils show up and we need that. That's half of your decorative detail right there. Okay, so now we need to talk about um, silver lace. So uh, if I find the cheapest and easiest place to get silver is from like, one of these, uh, you know, throwaway disposable pans. The bottom is the best part to use, not the top. The sides, um, there's this crinkle here. If you can flatten it, this is good for um, making studs. For decorating saddles so I, I do I do like that it just doesn't work for leather lace now the trick with this is to um, get something that'll flatten the bottom um, I have an acrylic dowel for my sculpty somewhere and that's usually the best thing to use um, can't find it because you know find one thing in my house and I miss out on another um, but you just go ahead and get it to flatten as much as possible then we need a straight edge Sorry. and then we also need something sharp to cut it with you're looking for about 1 16th of an inch there we 
go. Those are two pieces. That's about all we need for this. That's probably even too much. And yeah, you can further flatten it after you get it cut out. Now it's time to do the wrap. So we're going to make a little hole. We're going to slip this through. So it's very good. Now it comes around we need to make a hole right where that is. And we are putting this in between the coils. Let's see, I am going to bring you down a little bit. Hopefully, I don't move my hands too much. Pull it over. Wow. Make our hole. Feed it through. Okay, we're gonna do that all the way to the end. Okay, when you get to a point where you don't have enough, don't panic. Just gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna finish that last roll like that. Okay, and to secure it, you make a little little hole. start up again okay so nobody will be able to tell from the top here that that was um, where I added my new piece There we go. We'll go ahead and cut that. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is shape it because the Cheyenne roll goes right in there. Let's see if I can just sneak in there. And this ends right where the securing pins for the saddle are going to be. Let's give it a glue. And I'll glue on this side because it's going to create darts when I put it on and I want those darts to be flattened and then cut off. So you do not have to uh, put this on a Cheyenne roll that can be the rolled edge on the actual cantle. Yeah, that 
this down a little much. That's about right. And over here, still a little long. And yeah, I'm cutting off a little bit of both of the wires there. the trick is to get it right to the edge here. Um, everything's sitting in there quite nicely. And there you go. Hope I was able to teach you something today. Like, subscribe, tell all your friends about the channel, and have yourself a really good day.